Hey guys, it's Garrett from Command Console, and if you are looking for a way to center your pictures on either your Command Agent site or a landing page, that's why I'm going to show you how you can do that now when you don't have the formatting widgets for the layout. So what I mean by that is let's go ahead and just create a new site. I'm going to do it off a, a landing page here. So we'll do a standalone page. Uh, we are in the consumer applet. Uh, we'll go ahead and hit create page. Now, uh, a lot of people have noticed that the layout options down here are gone. Uh, so you can no longer, I know a lot of agents split it into thirds to have it get centered and that's no longer an option. But good news, there is still a very great way that you can um, center things on here uh, very easily. So uh, let's show uh, an image. So you're gonna drag that little image box in here and this is your chance to upload it. So you'll just click on that and you'll just pick whatever random photo you're gonna to wanna to uh, add on there. So we'll upload the photo and it's gonna load in. And once it's done loading into there, we'll go ahead and click it. And there it is. So we've got the picture in there and obviously it's not centered. So we've got a few options here. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click on that picture and we're gonna go right over here to the paintbrush. From the paintbrush, we're gonna go down here to uh, the dimension. And from here, we have two different options. Now, uh, one is if you just want it full screen no matter what, um, you know, this going from edge to edge, essentially, uh, you can absolutely do that and you can actually just switch that from, uh, it defaults to width of 100%, but we can actually change that to uh, the max width is at uh, pixels. We'll change that to 100%, and that would be um, that would be full screen now. So no matter if you're on a tablet uh, or phone, uh, you can see it is going to be edge to edge, um, and then the height is auto, so it would just stretch to the correct dimensions essentially. Now. Uh, I obviously filling up full screen might not be ideal in most situations. So let's go back to 1024, I think is what it was, uh, pixels. So we're, we're back here. Now, this is an easier way just to have it centered. So uh, what I would recommend is if you go into here, what you can actually do is you would actually, again, go to the pixels or the percentage and let's just do 70% mm, max width. And you can see that way, no matter what, it's going to be 70% of that page uh, max. Now, so you're going to have that gap over here, though. So what we're going to do is this is where we're going to use the margin. So the margin, uh, we have a right and left here. Uh, we do have percentages, and we can change those here. Uh, so as you can see, we have the max width of 70%. So obviously, uh, the remaining is 30%. Uh, which means we're going to put a buffer of 15% on each side, which would uh, go in there. And look at that. We've got it centered. So that's how you're going to be able to center these images. You just utilize this margin piece. Uh, and, and then I take care of that max width uh, to make sure it works properly. So you're going to play with that width and then, uh, and then the left and right margin to make sure it fits correctly. So uh, once you get all that, you'll just uh, add any other additional widgets back up here that you might need, enter that all info, and then you can publish, change the name and publish your web page. Uh, so you can do the same similar stuff with the text and, uh, and that way as well. So utilize that paintbrush, you'll just select that image to make sure it's highlighted so that when you click that, uh, as you can see, if I don't have the image selected, there's no options here, but as soon as I have that image selected, it pops up. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. If you want to see more of my video content and tra command training, you can always go to my website, commandconsult.com, and you can just click on that video tab right there. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.